Oh, welcome. I've just created a uh, video explaining how we approach, how we quickly can build an Arch Linux B version, a minimal one. And I've based myself on BSBWM. So this video is about, hey, I want to build an Arco Awesome Minimal. How do I proceed? So it's already written on the website, which is Arco Linux B. As you know, there is a special website in place for this build your own ISO. So never mind whatever we put on SourceForge, you can build it yourself. So you can have here this ISO yourself. And the article is already here. I see the menu should be created. But this is what you get in the end result. It's a 1.4 gigabyte ISO, which much less applications. So you'll need to install a lot more. And you can, of course, edit this package file. So it's a, a, a file that you can add Steam to or, or, I don't know, any application that you know. You can install it as long as it's not from AUR. So anything that's from Arch Linux, it's very easy to edit. So you can um, change this and edit this. And the video that's in here is going to, well, the, the video that we're making now is going to come in here. So how do we proceed? So you need to git clone something. Git clone this long sentence. And we're going to copy this, Control c and Then you go to your uh, desktop, uh, maybe best thing to do. Let's work on the desktop. And in here you say open a terminal, git clone, git clone. Oh yeah, sorry, it was already in the copy paste, so Control shift v I don't have to type git clone, right? It's already there. So you have here the article awesome minimal. That's all you need to have. And it will always be based on the latest version of Arco Linux. So the only thing that's in here is a package file. That's it. All the rest is coming from Arco Linux itself. And there's a build. So two little files and this is all maintenance, really. So it's empty. It's an empty, uh, well, GitHub. The only things that are important are these two files. So check out the packages. If you see things in there, you say, no, I need this or need that just hashtag them out or hashtag them in. So an hashtag in front of it, let's go to down here, something, I don't know, utilities. You want to have ASCII NEMA, all right, so now it's on the ISO and now it's not on the ISO, it's as simple as that. You like C matrix, okay, fine, it's on the ISO or else it's out of the ISO. And there's also something like games, maybe that will trigger you. You want to have Steam, okay, Steam is in, Steam is in, Lutr is in, Sauerbraten is in, Synodic is in, and so on. So you just add whatever you want to the system. So that's that. Once that's done, you decided uh, to edit this, then you go to the installation script, and then you go to uh, right mouse click here, open terminal, and you're going to run this thing. So 30, build the ISO local. That's it. Now it's time to walk away, take coffee, go eat, um, do something else. And in a few minutes time, everything will build. You'll have an ISO. You can put the ISO in a virtual box. You test it out and you delete some more stuff, add some more stuff. And then you can burn it on an SSD and work with your own Arch Linux version with the desktop you want. So that's the idea. So let's wait for uh, everything to finish he's now deleting my previous folder so that's why it says takes some time it uh, was not exaggerating so here is the github coming so article linux github is uh, being downloaded and built and so on and so on you can follow along what's happening here we have your work folder and the work folder is going to move at some point in time is resolved in Delta still. And at some point in time, you'll have this Arch Linux B built. So you have the D with the B, Arch Linux B built. So it's going to be built in here. And the result is going to go in Arch Linux B out. So in here, you'll find the version of what you've built. So that's what we're waiting for. And let's wait till the script ends. It's just finished, and uh, I don't know how many minutes, minutes were later. 
that doesn't take that long because it's a 1.4 gigabyte and it has been moved to Arkelings B out. So we have now written that the new ISO should go to a separate um, folder. So this is the one we need to test, really. So Super F7, VirtualBox kicks in. I have already copy paste here to my template, also minimal. I'm gonna say choose disk image. You go to the very, very last one, which is 703, that's correct. And we open and we double click. So Control F, full screen. There you are, we're booting from our newly created ISO. It's going to boot in this minimal XFCE environment from which you install any dos desktop in the future will make and create. We're now at number 11, but we'll create more desktops once we get some more time. And then investigate these other guys because every desktop has something to fall in love with. So we really need to take some time to investigate it and say, okay, actually not that bad. So keep an open mind. That's the message I'm trying to convey here. Also minimal. That's what we created. There you go. So standard installation, next, 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 as they say, and everything is going to be installed. So this is the normal standard routine. Let's uh, pause here and boot up later. We're almost at the end and there we are. So let's restart. And then we go to the second line. So boot existing OS because the DVD the virtual one is still in. And we're booting now. Remember these BSP WMs when you log in, then the system really doesn't know or can, it depends what, um, what, what kernel we are, what version of VirtualBox you are. But if the image is small, log out again from LightM and log back in and there you go. So here you are, Control alt t we have Ergolinx B, awesome, min, minimal, right? And we have only about 1000 packages um, installed. And everything works like KC. KC is there as well, a little girl who kills all Conky. So kill Conky, KC. KC is there. All the bash RC elements that we've created, all the aliases are the new ones, are there like HW is here, and tries and skip is here, scale and backup scale is here. So it's always built upon the last version of Arch Linux, also the last version of Bash or C, which is of course what we need, what we want. So there you go, we have now this uh, version, Alt N will work, all the shortcuts will work. Um, so you just use the system. Um, of course you will see that Super F5 is melt, doesn't work. If uh, Super F6 is VLC, that's installed. So continue, but Super F7 is VirtualBox, it's not installed. And Virtual Super F8 will run, it's a tuner, so that's where we'll start. And so this, this cursor here tries to do something, it's not there. Super F9, Super F10, Spotify and so on. So stuff needs to be installed, so, sort of, um, well, it's a minimal for, for a reason, right? So you figure out what you need, what you don't need. This is awesome, meaning Super S, right? Super S, remember it. It's an, a nice overview of all the possible things which will not work, like Alt, Control, E, Evolution, it's not installed, it will not launch. Catfish, not installed, it will not launch, and so on. So it's a minimal, you decide what application goes on it, build the ISO, put some games on it, don't do it, it's all up to you. That's what we try to um, tell you guys. Arcanix B is build it yourself. Decide what puts on, what you put on your ISO. Make it a very small ISO. Make it a very big ISO. Make it the ISO you want. All right. Enjoy.